Welcome to the Digital Moneta channel. Today we're going to be t giving you an update on the status of our three hoppers that we have up and running. We have two bunnies and we have one kangaroo up and running. But first, the reason this little hopper is here, his name is Barney. Crypto Hopper is having a contest for their affiliates where they're giving away anywhere from $250 up to $1,000. And the results will be based on referrals. So we are an affiliate and if you're considering joining crypto hopper we ask that you use the link down below if we do finish in the money we'll be donating 50 percent to tranquility trail which is where barney is actually a resident as a rescue rabbit so tranquility trail is a non-profit rabbit rescue and they're located in scottsdale arizona so 50 percent of any funds we receive from the contest will go towards Barney's group over at Tranquility Trail. The other 50% we will disperse to our subscribers in the form of giveaways. Now the accounts we use to, and seem to be most profitable would be the Bunny account, which is only $19 or so let's say $20 a month. And we also do have a Kangaroo account, which seems to be the best account for signals. We haven't tried a hair account, as of yet, although we are considering doing that for our technical analysis, but uh, it would allow us to have 50 positions versus the current 15. However, doing TA on 50 different tokens is actually quite a bit of work. So again, if you're thinking of subscribing, do us a favor, use the link down below, and we'll be able to help out these little guys if we can finish in the money. What do you think, Barney? Let's get to it. Let's get over to the hoppers the info they're probably really waiting on actually we'll probably let you go back to the sanctuary and then we'll get into the hoppers okay so barney's back at the sanctuary and we're going to jump into the hoppers what we originally had set up was the bunny trial account and we did that under our bitrex exchange now we've actually kind of started using this one more as a guinea pig for lack of a better term and have been doing a lot of different testing on this particular hopper each time we set up a new configuration for this particular hopper on the bitrex account we reset the returns so that we can get an accurate measurement on what we're actually achieving uh, and as you can see we've been letting this one run for about a week now and it's at 0 0.0074850 bitcoin which isn't too shabby it's around fifty dollars in and we actually are only allowing this hopper to utilize 0.112 Bitcoin. So based on that, we're fairly happy with that. And again, considering that the bunny hopper is only $20 and we've achieved $52 return, we have ROI'd and actually brought in some profit. So not too bad. Now let's take a look at the settings for this particular hopper. And again, it's the very first, the basic settings is just name and whether the bot is live. The exchange is Bittrex. We're running our Bittrex API keys. We don't use notifications. Our buy settings are going to be zero. Uh, maximum open buy time is 15. Maximum open positions on a free trial is only two. So we're kind of stuck with the two. And not that that's what we'd want to choose. We'd certainly like the maximum open positions to be higher than two, but on the trial account, we're only going to, we only get to play with two and that would limit what type of returns we can actually get, but it's a free account. So technically that $52 is all profit. We didn't pay $19 for this particular hopper. Keep in mind, you want to try out a hopper, be sure to click on the link down below and you get a 30 day free hopper. And from there you can, uh, sign up for your bunny or a hare or a kangaroo account and the maximum percent open is one we basically set that so that we'll only have one op one open position per coin and same with buy orders we only want one buy order per coin and then we always enable a cool down period uh, we don't want if we get in and out of a trade real quick we don't get want to get right back in again uh, odds are that coin is like trying to catch a falling knife and we have no desire to do that so we want to cool down for at least an hour if a coin is 
trading us in and out that quickly. Jump over to coin amounts. So we are able under the bunny account, whether it's a trial or paid, you're able to select 15 different coins to trigger. And so the way we actually choose our coins is we go into trading view. Now, if you don't have a trading view account, the nice thing is Crypto Hopper has charts and those charts are trading view. So you can do some of your own technical analysis to choose your coins. But we have found these coins to really meet our guidelines based on our technical analysis and the parameters we're going to use for this to be trading. So after we've selected our coins, uh, the percent buy amount we have set at 4.75 and we basically are just trying to divide up the actual maximum Bitcoin amount allocated of 1.25% and so we want to allocate a percentage of this total amount so that we can get the maximum positions we're comfortable having and then this figure minimum BTC order amount you always want this number here to be less than this number here and so we have achieved that now under strategy we use the multiple TA factors for this particular hopper with a number of targets to buy of nine now the advanced settings that is where we have our actual indicators set up using 30 minute candles that's really the size we use for cryptocurrency now when we're doing forex we use 15 minute candles and when we're doing stocks we generally use one hour candles but for crypto we actually find the 30 minute candles to be so far performing the best enable rsi has been selected as well as the enable bollinger bands those are the two indicators that are being used the RSI period is 7, the preferred oversold uh, threshold is 20, and the overbought threshold for the RSI is 80. The RSI signal is actually necessary to buy, along with the Bollinger Bands are also going to be necessary. So both of our indicators are must be met in order to place a buy. Uh, our Bollinger Band period is 20. The upper band is set at 2, the lower band is set at 2 as well. We will be testing 2.5 in the future. And then we're using the SMA for the uh, moving average, the smooth moving average. Next, we'll take a look at the trailing stop buy. This is one of those things we're actually testing. So we have that turned on and enabled. What this will basically do is once our indicators trigger a buy signal, if the coin is still moving downwards, it will allow it to move downwards until it comes back up 0.25%, at which point it will trigger a buy. That way, if our indicators were early, it will allow that coin price to move down and only buy once it starts to show that it is ready to move up. We're testing it. We'll let you know how that goes. Go over to our sell settings. We're looking for a 3% profit. Uh, maximum open time of 30 minutes to sell but if you choose your coins wisely you should never actually run into a 30 minute open sell time all of our coins have high volumes that's one of the requirements to make our list so that we should not be stuck in a position that should have a decent enough of volume to get in and out of a trade sell strategy we actually have turned off because we use a few different strategies for that. Uh, we use the stop loss for sure, 4%. We've played with three and we've played with five. Four seems to be the happy medium uh, for the hoppers. Trailing stop loss, we have enabled. We are currently running that at 0.25% after arming at three. So it'll come on once we've hit 3% profit and then follow the coin up if it continues up but the moment it starts to move down more than 0.25 percent it will get us out of the position we do not use auto close this particular account we're not running short sales we do that on our binance one currently and we're not using the dollar cost average that wraps up the bitrex bunny trial now we'll go ahead and move over to the Binance Bunny that we actually 
did a full subscription for so this is a twenty dollar subscription and so far it's actually returned 0 0.023 almost 0 0.024 bitcoin for a total of around 170 dollars which we've certainly met our roi on this particular account and we are currently allowing the hopper to utilize 0.1249 bitcoin now we'll go ahead and jump over to the configurations of this hopper again it's a live bot on and running we're using the binance exchange which we have found to be the best exchange so far with all of our hoppers and you can see we've got our binance api keys don't use the notifications our buy settings are 0 15 again and as you can see now that this is actually a paid account a paid subscription we are allowed to bump up the maximum open positions to 80 the maximum percent open positions per coin again we only want one and only want one open buy order per coin and we still have our one hour cooldown period the coins that we have selected are a little different over on binance we actually do not want to have the same coins in two hoppers so for example with the bitrex hopper and the binance hopper both being bunny accounts both being able to select 15 coins we don't want the same coins uh, we may actually run a test between the two exchanges and see if one performs better than the other and then we'll look at some of the other settings the percentage buy amount 4.75 percent maximum btc amount per order is 0 0.01409 and then the maximum amount we're allowing the hopper to utilize in bitcoin is 0.1249 if we come over to our strategy we are using multiple ta uh, signals we have shut off um, maximum targets of nine we get to our settings you can see we have enabled RSI and we have enabled the Bollinger Bands we are again using the RSI period of seven oversold threshold 20 overbought threshold 90 Bollinger Bands are 22 and 2 with the SMA smooth moving average both are required uh, to trigger a buy trailing stop buy is turned off sell settings three percent maximum open time 30 minutes and this should not ever be a factor as the coins we have chose have high enough volumes sell strategy is off because we use some of these others down here we enable a stop loss at that four percent trailing stop loss is enabled at three percent is when it will arm and again we're allowing it 0.25 percent to retrace before it will actually trigger auto closes off we do have shorting actually turned on and with the automatic shorting on we're only willing to take on four short positions based on our strategy and that's going to be the rsi and the bollinger band strategy we are looking for a 1.25 percent a much smaller percentage on shorts than we are on the long positions and we do have the trailing stop short on turned on and it will trigger at that 1.25 percent and we give it 0.25 percent uh, room to wiggle around and we don't use any of the other settings and we don't have dollar cost averaging so that would wrap up the dashboard for our binance uh, bunny hopper which is by far our best performer and then the last one we'll take a look at is our binance signals which we originally had set up on polinex using the kangaroo subscription but it really wasn't uh panning out so we moved it over to binance where it is doing better but i still don't know if this is going to roi and so we can look at the signals we're actually utilizing and we are using mining hamster signals trading view crypto screener and crypto quality signals now we did pay six dollars a month for the mining hamster signals when the other two signals are free 
And so far, since we switched to Binance, Mining Hamster has provided no signals in almost a week, where it was actually providing signals on Polinex. Not a lot, but it was providing some. And the majority of signals being received are from TradingView, with a couple from crypto quality signals, which are free. So we may end up just canceling this subscription. It, it doesn't really seem to pay off. The base configuration is very similar to the two bunnies as far as our buy settings. Uh, the big difference is we're using signals and therefore we are allowed all coins and again that's where the kangaroo comes in handy because you can use a lot more coins so it allows more coins we are allowing a 0.14 bitcoin to play with but our sell settings are still pretty much the same settings with a stop loss of four we did crank down the trailing stop loss and i think this will probably need to go a little lower and we might be able to crank this number up slightly so we're probably going to be looking at somewhere around two percent on this and taking this up to 0.75 we're doing some back testing right now on that and we're not currently doing any arbitrage although we look forward to doing that but again these settings are very similar to the bunny however we're going to probably tweak those a little bit for the kangaroo signals and only because it is signals overall the bunny accounts seem to be the best bang for the buck. They are doing the best returns as far as what we have invested in them. And I think that'll pretty much wrap it up. We just wanted to do a quick overview of how things are going after a couple weeks. Also, we wanted to get in that little plug for the affiliate program get you if we can get you guys to subscribe via the link below perhaps we can take part in the prize pool and give some money to the charity tranquility trail and also some back to you subscribers if you like the video spike that like button if you didn't like it let us know what we can improve in the comments down below and until next time lock in those profits and we'll see you in the next video